So good day and uh, welcome to Cineflix. My name is David Wise and today uh, we're going to be talking to Diana Morales. Diana is a pharmacist here at Shepherd Village and uh, so we'll be interested to find out a lot more about pharmacy and what it means to be a pharmacist and etc. So Without any more ado, welcome to Thank Diana. Thank you. Thank you, David. Good to see you here. Good to see you. So tell us a, tell us a bit about yourself, about your background. and. So um, I'm Latina. I was born in Central America, El Salvador. Um, so back when I was young, there was a civil war there. So at the age of six, uh, my, my mom and I, we left. We went to Sweden. We lived there for a few years. My mom got remarried, came to Canada, and this is how I ended up in Canada. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've been here ever since. Um, and I grew up, you know, school, going to high school and everything. And then I ended up in pharmacy school to become a pharmacy assistant. And, um, and then, you know, did many, many years of different kinds of pharmacies. And then I just ended up at Shepherd Village. There was a posting one day. Um, through a third person, actually, I wasn't, I wasn't really meant to be here, but I ended up here. And um, Martha at that time was the manager, the pharmacy manager, and uh, she offered me a position. Uh, I, had, I had a small contract to be here, only really for like, I think two weeks. <laughs> I wasn't meant to be here, yeah. x, you know, x amount of years later. Um, but I was offered, and I've been here ever since. I think I, I think a good chunk of my pharmacy yeah. career has been here. <laughs> Well, that's fascinating. I have a great appreciation for people that grew up with a different language and managed to change over to English because yeah. English is not an easy language. It is not. So, um, so what is your title then within the pharmacy, Diana? So in the pharmacy, um, operational supervisor and pharmacy assistant. So I run the day-to-day -day, uh, you know, responsibilities of the pharmacies, uh, making sure we have everything stock, making sure um, all our all our patients are coming in when they're supposed to, uh, making sure um, we have enough stock of everything because we do run out sometimes. Um, and when we have high seasons of cold and flu or COVID that we are currently gone through or going through, um, just to make sure we have enough medicine and to make sure that everything's running smooth and there's no hiccups uh, or major hiccups during the day. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm not really very conversant with pharmac pharmacies. I'm mm -hmm. fortunate. My health is fairly good. You are. <laughs> but I do come to your pharmacy, and you do. and really appreciative of um, what happens there. But I don't really know much about what happens within the pharmacy. I know when I when I bring the prescription that you manage to fill it and uh, so and on. And magically, it's ready. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So usually, what we do. Um, there, there'll be two processes. So one, if it's a new prescription for a person, uh, we look to see we look to see in our computer program to see if they've been here before, which a lot of our seniors have been to our pharmacy. Um, so they come in, we check our file to see if this is a new medication. Is it an old medication, like something that's been used before? Um, if it's a new medication, we check to see if there's any interactions with previous medications. And um, if not, then we start working on it. So we process it. We make sure we pick the right patient, the right drug, the right doctor. Then we process it. We start counting out how many pills the doctor has required for you to take. Then it gets passed on to the pharmacist to make sure that I did my work correctly as well. Um, so it's always about a two or three step process uh, that goes on from when we receive the prescription to make sure it gets you know, correctly. Um, and then if everything is correct, then we call you that tell you it's ready for pickup. Um, and then we just, the, if it's a new medication, the pharmacist will talk to you about, you know, interactions, the good, the bad, the great things of it. Um, and then you're on your way <laughs> and then hopefully it'll make you feel better. So I, <clears throat> I have a couple of prescriptions that you fill. And, uh, so sometimes on there, it says so many refills. Yes. So who determines that? Is that? The doctor, or is that you? Yes. Yeah, so it's no, it's a doctor. So um, sometimes the doctor would say they want you to be on this for let's say a thirty days plus two more months, 
or maybe they want you to be on it for a total of six months or a year. So it's up to the doctor to decide how long that process is to be. Um, we know some people are on it for many, many years, but even so, it's still up to the doctor to decide how many and for how long they want you to be on it. So we always need doctor's directions to tell us that. That sounds extremely complicated to me, Dan, <laughs> sort of keeping track of all that. So yeah. you must have a very sophisticated system there for yeah. keeping track of these things and, and, and communicating with the doctor and so on. Yes, we do have to have really strong communication skills, um, not just with the doctors, but with our own teammates to make sure that, you know, everything is right on track and to make sure that what the doctor order is precisely what is being given out. Um, and to make sure that is running smoothly. And to, uh, one of our other things that we do as well is to make sure that our patients are taking their medication um, as they're supposed to. So sometimes we'll, we'll call in and we'll check, you know, a week later or two weeks later to say, hello, Mr. So-and-so or Mrs. So-and-so, are you okay? How's the medication going? Is everything, you know, you're not suffer suffering any side effects? Um, and if so, sometimes we'll, we'll contact the doctor on your behalf to help out in that sense as well. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes that as a, you know, as a regular user, I weren't not aware of. I mean, I remember going up at least once to your pharmacy and saying, look, could you refill this for me? And mm -hmm. you've come back and said, you shouldn't need that refilled yet because, <laughs> you know, I said, yeah, you know. Yeah. So tell me about some of the issues then that, that seniors generally have in sort of dealing with yeah. The pharmacy and the medications and so on. Well, you know, as we get older, our, our memory is not the greatest. It gets a little bit foggy at times. So, yes. So um, we have had a few seniors come by and they said they want to fill it. And it's it could be very early. Right. So typically um, government allows for a three month supply. So three months or 100 days, a total of medication. So. Based on our records, we'll see, for example, like, you know, we gave it to you um, a three month supply and then you come back and you say, well, I need it. I need more. And we'll see that you're about 30 days early. So we'll ask you a few questions to determine what's going on. Why are you early? Maybe you're going away on vacation. Uh, maybe you've spilled some or maybe just by pure accidents. And then it happens because we're all humans. But sometimes we take more than what we are prescribed. Yeah. <laughs> so if that's the case, um, we'll kind of find the solution to that problem and yeah. we'll say, okay, either can we fill it early? Can, um, if you're going away on vacation, so the government allows for, um, you know, things like that to happen so we can fill it early for you. If by accident you'd be taking more than what's allotted, um, we do notify the doctor just so the doctor is aware of what's happening and um, we'll also try to help you to get back on track. We try to come up with solutions to, to prevent this for the future, right? And, um, and then how best way it will also work with you and then we'll, we'll fill it. Um, but if everything's according that you're still taking one a day or whatever the directions are, then we'll say, okay, you know what? Uh, you're still a little bit early, come back and see us in about three weeks' time. <laughs> so, so the government, so the, what's this, the provincial government that yes. has some rules and regulations that you as pharmacists have to follow? Oh, yes, many of them. <laughs> so many of them. So one of them is to say um, you cannot be too early on refilling your medications. Um, if you are, there has to be a specific reason. Um, so, but if you're right on track, how you're supposed to be taking your medication, uh, one of the things we do ask is, you know, don't wait till the last minute to, to come and see us or any pharmacy in general, just because, you know, if you need a refill, we may need to contact your doctor and that might take a few days. Um, maybe for whatever reason that medication is not available. So we have to find alternative ways to solve the solutions or solve the problem, sorry. <laughs> so we have to come up with different ways. So we always say, you know, go see your pharmacy to refill your medication uh, seven or 10 days prior your, your, when you're done. So about a week's worth, make sure you have about a week's worth. So that if there's any problem, you know, you're, you're okay, you're, there's no problem there, and we can work with you in that sense. Assuming I'm a new, um, new in the new on the site here, I'll, I'll get you to tell us uh, about how I go about that and what the process is. But um, 
perhaps before we do that, uh, Diane, we'll have a little break now and sure. uh, we'll, we'll pick it up we'll from there. Up. And, that uh, sounds like a good plan. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Good.